Hey guys, what's going on? Just a quick news update over here. This is going to be the weekly grind plus a little bit of additional information uh, on top of the news releases. Information that I did not get to you guys yesterday or last night. Um, so, first off, yes, I will be doing a live stream tonight around 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Um, so, uh, you know, stay tuned. I will be doing that. So, if you want to join me tonight around 11 p.m., uh, that should be like around the time that all this new information gets released. Uh, or the new in-game stuff gets released. I might be doing some summons. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, legit. And plus, we'll probably be doing some Bleach Brave Souls gameplay. But uh, outside of that, you know, if you want to join me, join me. But I'm going to be going over all of the events currently on Global and JP. And a couple other things that I forgot to mention last night. So let's go ahead and start it. First off, Global Events. Battle of Gods runs until 1 to well, uh, January 3rd. <laughs> so we have some time for that. We have a, we have a long time to do that. Um, I recommend grinding it out. This is where you get the Beerus Medals, the Dokken Awaken, your Intelligence Goku. Um, the other, well, the God of Destruction Medals actually is for the physical one, so that's the actual Beerus event. Uh, this is the Beerus Medals for the Intelligence God Q card uh, from the event that Dokken Awakens him, so you need those. You need the Whis Medals for the Dokken Awaken, both Whis is the Intelligence and the Tech one. I recommend grinding them out. Um, you can grind the base from Goku, which Dokken Awakens into Super Saiyan Goku. He's not really a good card. So I don't recommend doing that. By the way, just so if you guys are new, this Goku over here and this one are two different cards. This is the physical card. This is the physical unit that you can get. And this physical unit, Dokken Awakens, into this Godku card. This Godku card feeds into both the Intelligence Godku card, the Agility, and the Strength one. So if you have watched me stream, if you have watched my gameplay and you've noticed that I have a whole bunch of these, well, it's because I slowly grind out the metals to get these guys up to Super Attack 10. It's not a high priority for me because none of these guys have a Dokken Awakening yet, but I do want to do that. Um, I would at least recommend grinding out enough metals to get this guy all four do pads unlocked, or at least two top left, bottom right. Uh, but yes, you could do that. You get all the medals through here. Uh, you have the Gohan medals on the strongest fighter Gohan. Trunks and Goten medals, huge counterattack. Vegeta's pride for Vegeta medals. Saiyan, the Super Saiyan God is born is the Videl medals. And that's about it. You also have some good um, support items. This is when they actually got released uh, for stages three and four. You get those drops if you want to grab them. Uh, notably, the Pilaf medals, which uh, seal super attacks. And then the Whis and, well, the, the Beerus and Whis medals drop on stages 1 and 2. So that's where you get everything. You can see it in-game if you want to. Uh, personally, I think Pilaf is probably the best one because he reduces supers to normal attacks. So anyone who has a counter, it's definitely beneficial. Um, Sh uh, I forgot his name, but the dog, Sh Shin, Shu, Shu, I think it is. Yeah, key plus 3 for the attacking character. And Mai is actually really good too. I'd reduce uh, attack of the enemy by 30%. It's only for one turn though, but it is still pretty decent. Um, anyway, you can do that. If you haven't done it already, go ahead and grind those out. There's a lot of good stones there. Uh, we also have the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks event that's available. That runs until the 27th, so we have about seven more days. Uh, you, do, you can Doken Awaken the Agility and the Strength Gotenks from this event, the new one that's out, uh, on top of, obviously, the Super Saiyan 3 Physical Gotenks that got released. So go ahead, grind out those medals. You need 35 of each for the two Physical and Agility ones. The Physical one costs 77, so you can do that. And then that also includes the other Technique event, which allows you to Doken Awaken the Super Saiyan 3, Technique, Go Tanks, the Physical God Tanks card, who seals, we call them Seal Tanks, um, and the, actually, uh, the, the, he does the uh, Strength one as well, but he also does the Goten and Trunks into Go Tanks, so any of the Super Saiyan Go Tanks can do Super Attack 10. Now, I know I've said this before in last week's video, but I'm going to say it again. The Goten and Trunks, these two over here that you see on my screen, they Doken Awaken with 35 of the OG Technique Medals into Super Gotenks. You could feed them into either of these two for, a, well, 100% up if you Z-Awaken them. Um, I recommend doing the 100% for at least Seal Tanks because he hits it very hard. He clears over a million easily once you get up Super Attack 10 with a uh, top left, bottom right, two pads unlocked. I don't even have mine 100% and he's just hitting it ridiculously. When he crits, Jesus. Uh, really good unit, especially when he's Doken Awaken. Uh, the next one is going to be the Dragon Ball GT event for our Heroes Legacy. Uh, it runs until the 31st. I recommend doing at least one uh, Goku Jr. to Super Saiyan with all four do pads unlocked at Super Attack 10. You get Goku Jr.'s on Stage 1. He has a horrible drop rate, but he does drop. Uh, then you get the Lord Yao, the Marauder medals, which allow him to Doken Awaken from base form to Super Saiyan. And then you, you just really run Stage 5 a whole bunch of times in order to get all the medals. I think you need to run it like 100 times or 140 times, something like that, in order to get all the, the orbs required to get him to 100%. But he's a really good unit. I did do a video on it a while ago um, on how you should build him if you want to. There's two different ways to build him. But 
You can go ahead and do that. Plus, you have some awakening medals on stages two or three if you want to run them there. But uh, outside of that, that's it. We also have the strength exclusive summon for um, <clears throat> strength units, which has a double Elder Kai drop. The LR Broly should be on this banner. Um, the, the units here are, are not bad. I don't really recommend doing it because we have, you know, Christmas usually they give us a lot of good deals, so I would recommend to maybe not summon on this banner. Uh, but if you don't have the units and you want the support units because you really like running a mono strength team, it's definitely worth it. Uh, plus this GT Vegeta and the Super Saiyan 3 Goku are definitely good. They are staples on their respective teams. I mean, he is a strength unit. He's not really a staple on the Super Saiyan 4 Goku team, but he can be because he does have that GT link and he does really well after he Doken Awakens. Especially after you Doken Awaken. Um, Doken Festival for the banner is also here on the 27th. They have really good units on this banner, so I mean, you you can't go wrong. You have really solid units here. So if you haven't summoned already and you're considering it, you know it's more of a you could you should consider it. But it runs until the 27th, so if you want to wait until Christmas Day to see what gets dropped, yeah, that's a really good decision. Now there wasn't a lot for global, so we're just gonna go over here, jump over to the Reddit for the things that I missed. Now UI Goku's release time is 15 minutes after the maintenance. So maintenance should be around tonight, and then the game should go live. So once it go li goes live, I hopefully will be home in enough time to to do a live stream with you guys. If not, I will be on at some point. So you know I'll put up the the you know live stream is coming. Um, we also have the Doken events required for Christmas, and that means we actually have information. We now see that on the 27th of Oct of December, the Mixed Saiyan category is coming, and with that, that's because in order for you to get the certain Christmas uh, uh, tickets, you need to clear the the Hybrid Saiyan event. This is the Ultimate Gohan event. That's what it looks like. That is legitimate, actually. I think it's uh, over here. Uh, let's see. Hybrid Saiyan category coming on the 28th, 27th, or 28th. Uh, the Super 2 Ultimate Gohan stage is listed amongst the events you can clear to complete the daily clear at Dokkan event once, which will be available tonight. So, um, yeah, that should be coming soon. So after the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks event, it does look like we are getting that Ultimate Gohan. So that Ultra Instant Goku is going to be a bridge between the two, which means we're drop either dropping really quick. So that means I, I really think, guys, we will be caught up really soon to the JP side. Now, I plan on doing a video separate of, of this to talk about that, about the catch-up. Um, I think it could be a good and a bad thing. If, we're, if they're playing so hard to catch up, they did say they wanted to do it. But, you know, that could also mean bad things in the future. Not just good things, but bad things in the future. We'll, we'll talk about that in a separate video, though. Um, outside of that, we also have a bunch of Supreme Kai trial missions added to the database in Japanese for the next areas where you can get 21 Patara medals, one by one, and 49 Supreme Kai stones. Some will require having Vegito as a character, Rainiac Link, or Saiyan Warrior Race Link, which all of them uh, STR Vegito has. So, you, that we should be getting that soon. That should be, I think, night. Um, so that's going to be legit, so I can't wait for that to happen. And we can actually start getting to Abdoken Awakening, so maybe we'll actually get the information about the LR Vegito soon. But um, yeah, outside of that, let's go ahead and jump over to the JP side of Dokkan Battle. Um, JP side, we have the new uh, Tapion event that runs until the 10th. Um, I haven't really done it yet, but you get the Gohan from Stage 2, Tapion medals from Stage 3, Trunks medals from Stage 4, the Base Swarm Trunks from Stage 5, and Tapion's Flute from Stage 6. That Tapion's Flute is good for the Tapion event. I recommend grinding them out to help you out with the Tapion event. You're going to need a few of them. So go ahead and grind that out. Uh, outside of that, there's some cool things here. Let's see. Yeah, so Trunks Doken Awakens with Tapion and Trunks medals, and that's about it. So, yeah. Oh, and uh, you get Videl from running the Gohan level, I think, from the mission rewards. So if you run level uh, Stage 2 a lot of times, you get the Videls from the actual mission uh, next one is going to be the actual, I believe this is the Dokkan event, it runs until the 10th, uh, for Harutagon, yeah it is. So you go up against uh, Z-Hard, you go up against Tapion with the Flute, and then stage 2 on uh, Z-Hard Super 2, uh, well Z-Hard and Super 2 it's available, for Dokkan medals, you get the actual Harutagon medals in order to Dokkan Awaken the unit. Uh, you can do you Dokkan Awaken both the Agility Tapion and the Technique Tapion, so you can go ahead and grab them. Uh, and in order for you to do extra damage to him or reduce whatever that meter is, you use any of the Tapions, uh, the Gohan and or Videl, the Trunks, um, and any of the Super Saiyan 3 Gokus. Not the Angels, the Super Saiyan 3. So that means the Strength one, the Agility one, or the new Technique one. Especially if you get him to LR, heck yeah. Um, actually, he has to be LR because the other two forms are base form. So, uh, yeah, that, that event runs until the 10th. I heard he dodges like crazy. I will probably be doing some gameplay with that tonight. Um, on my live stream, so, you know, like I said, just stop by, we'll check it out, we'll have some fun. The speed battles are available to the 10th. Um, I know they're doing something where if you complete, if you beat the actual speed battle uh, by the time that was done at the uh, Jump Fiesta for 
um, that they, they had the other day, you get some type of a reward. Uh, I'll go, I think it's right here. I think it's, you, you beat it, you get some dragon stones or something like that. But I'll, I'll go ahead and let you know more about it when, like, it's actually talked about. I think we already did something about it, but I'll go ahead and look for, further into it. But it runs until the 10th, so you have some time to think that. Uh, the Bojack event is here, for runs until the 10th. You grind out the space for Gohan, he Doken Awakens into this uh, Super Saiyan Gohan. Um, I recommend doing this in order to get your LR Gohan up to Super Attack 10. So that way you don't gotta use LR Kai's. It's a pain in the butt this grind, I did the grind, let me tell you, it is a pain. Especially getting out the Bujin Medals. The Bujin Medals suck, man. If you see Bujin Medals in the Baba Shop, buy them. <laughs> Just because I know how much of a pain in the butt they are. Uh, but base from Gohan, Doken Awakens, and Super Saiyan Gohan, Z Awaken him for a 50% chance to increase the Super Attack of your LR Gohans. Or you can do it to the other Intelligent Super Saiyan Gohan. Um, or I think there's also the Agility one, so you got that as well. This you also Doken Awaken the Bojack, the LR Bojack that you pull out of the base form. You can Doken Awaken him with the Bojack Medal, so make sure you grind them out for him. Uh, you need the Bojack and Nimbus Medals, the Nimbus Medals you get from completing certain mission rewards. And then you need all of the other guys, Sanya, um, Vito, uh, whatever, all these guys, Bujin, and I'm missing Gokua. So all of them need to, you need all those medals in order to Doken Awaken him into LR. Um, then the same thing with Gokua, he has a form that you need more Gokua medals to Doken Awaken him. Uh, you also need the Gohan medals to Doken Awaken Super Saiyan 2 Gohan into Super Saiyan, well, another Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. He becomes a better support unit. And the Agility Bojack, you need more Bojack medals. And the Strength Bojack, you need all these medals as well. This event has a lot of grinding. <laughs> if you can't tell, you also need to, you need some Zanya medals to Doken Awaken Zanya. And more Bojack medals to Doken Awaken the SDR Bojack, because that SDR Bojack Doken Awakens two times. So a lot, a lot, a lot of medals. Stage 3 is Zanya, stage 4 is Gokua. Stage 5 is Beto, Stage 6 is Bujin, Stage 7 is Bojack, uh, Stage 8, don't grind out, it's not worth it, and Stage 9 is Gohan Medals and the Gohan Drops, so you can go ahead and grind them out if you need to. Um, that's where you get those Gohan stuff. But uh, outside of that, at least get enough to get all these guys Doken Awaken sitting in the boxes. If you pull them and you want to Doken Awaken them, it's nice to have them there. Again, that runs till the 10th, so you have some time to grind that out. Uh, this one is going to be the Turles event. Luckily, there's really not much to say here. Icarus are available on stage one. Um, that's really the only notable thing. Um, I guess you have the Fruit of the Tree of Might available on stages. Uh, I don't know. Uh, a couple of these stages over here. Notably, the last stage. Um, I would recommend grinding out uh, this stage over here. I don't know what the heck this one is. It's the third to last stage. Because this one has both Turles and Fruit of the Tree of Might. That way, you can grind them out and you can go ahead and grab any of the, the actual fruit metals. And those fruit medals, like I said before, really good for bob bottle points. So you can go ahead and grab them. You get hundreds of them. Like, you get over 100 of them in one round going through the event. And you just get so many of them, you just end up giving them all to Baba, and you get a lot of points. So you can go ahead and do that. Turles is here also. You can Z-Awaken Turles to an SSR from SR and give him a 50% chance to increase the super attack of the Technique one or the Intelligence one. So go ahead and grind that out. Um, outside of that, you also need these Turles medals in order to Doken Awaken him. Uh, he becomes a really good support unit for a Mono Intelligence Extreme team. Um, and that's about it. So yeah, that's that event. It runs for a while. You have until the 10th as well. This event, the core event, runs till the 10th. They still haven't done anything with this. All these cards are not worth grinding out. Um, so, you know, just do it for the medals. Outside of that, you don't need to get these guys to Super Tech 10. And no, these Koras do not feed into the Intelligence SSR Kora. So just keep that in mind. You cannot increase their super, his super attack with any of these guys. These guys are here because back in the day, it was cool to run them because they all regenerated and you were able to get away with running a full SR team. <laughs> um, we also have the Gratuity event that runs until the 6th, the 26th, I'm sorry. All these Gokus are uh, Kid Gokus. You could feed them into any other Kid Goku. He Doken Awakens with medals from the World Tournament. Um, and that's about it. He's cool because he increases his super attack damage and he can do super attacks at 8 after you get him like super attack 10 and Doken Awaken him. I think it's like attack plus 40%. Outside of that, really not worth it. He's cool to have for collective purposes because you know, hey, it's Kid Goku. Uh, the Monster Rabbit event is here till the 26th as well. You can go ahead and grind out those medals for the actual carrot medals in order to Doken Awaken your Balmas and you need a Goku to do a lot of damage to him. Um, it's really cool. Uh, I had my best luck bringing uh, like this physical Goku, and you just run a mono, a mono team with it if you want to. You also have the Balm, the Balm medals, uh, well, the Balm of the Doken Awaken. None of these Balms are actually good to Doken Awaken, so I'm just waiting until I get Super Attack 10, but I grinded out the medals from the first time around. But luckily, I don't have to do it. I also got this rabbit guy up to Super Attack 10. He's not really worth it, guys. I know some of you ha did ask me about him. He's not really worth it to get him up to Super Attack 10, but he does stun. So, you know, I mean, if you were trying to run a full stunner team, you could definitely get him to Super Attack 10. It won't hurt. You know, it's just not required for you to get him up to Super Attack 10. Um, but yeah, uh, then we also have the Balm of Genius Battle Prep event where a whole bunch of good items. It runs, it looks like it's going to be available until the, the 
February 8th. So you can go ahead and run that if you want to. It was really good. It has really good items. Banners, in terms of banners on the JP side, for the 27th, we have the Tapion event. Um, or this is, looks like it's not the actual Dokkan Fest exclusive banner. Um, it might be. But you get the, um, you get Master Roshis whenever, it looks like you get Master Roshis whenever you do a uh, multi-summon. So that's pretty legit. Um, outside of that, you have the Tapion guys over here, so you can go ahead and grab them. They're actually pretty damn decent units. Uh, I like them. They're cool to have. They're cool to run. Uh, but outside of that, um, they're not really requirements for the game. They're just fun. They're fun units because, you know, it's not often you get a good hero unit that is not a Super Saiyan. So I like that. Um, I won't be pulling on it myself because I'm going to wait for Christmas to see what's going on. But this event is going to run pa uh, past Christmas. So if nothing really good happens on Christmas, which I really doubt, I think something good is going to happen. Um, I'll, I'll probably pull on this banner just because they're really awesome units. We also still have this, um, this banner that's available. I think this is the World Tournament banner. So that's still going to be available for a while till the 26th as well. But that's all the information, guys. Just remember that. Uh, and we, I'm, I'm super hyped about the Hybrid Saiyan. Now, I was thinking about not pulling for that one just because the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock came out. And I was like, you know what? I really would prefer to have a Super Saiyan 3 team. But we'll see what happens. There's a lot of stuff happening for Christmas. So maybe they'll get a, give us some nice hookup or some nice deals. But we'll find out. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me today. I hope that was informative. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys later tonight on the live stream. Peace.